where we bees at How'd I get my G pass? None of your fucking beeswax These raps Bring a joint together like a kneecap Fuck the little eight balls Show me where the keys at The time continuum Mortal Kombat finish them Trying to find a balance Reaching for my equilibrium Fools I pity them What's up YouTube? It's Rad Ricky and I'm back with another video. Um, I'm just gonna do a little update about um, what I've been doing. I haven't been doing much, but I've just been doing some wiring. You know, getting the, I mean, every little thing I do counts as a step for closer to being finished. So I'm just trying to do every little single thing I can. So yeah, let's get right to it. So right now, I just got a bunch of wiring everywhere let me show you guys what i got going on all right so fuse box been has been cleaned up i tuck them into the carpet and they go all the way up and then behind the dash plugged into where they supposed to go but basically i did that to relocate relocate the fuse box right here which is going to be behind the seat um I have, I've seen people on forums put it in the trunk, but I don't know, I had someone tell me that the further it is, the the more it struggles with the power or whatever. So I'm just gonna put it behind the seat, and plus it would, I wouldn't have to stretch the cables that much. The only ones I did have to stretch were these that I'm doing right now. I just got done. Um, just got done what's it called shrink wrapping them and soldering together as you can see I'm still not done wrapping them up because I just wanted to film before I do and then these go all the way to the engine engine bay I'm not sure if I need them yet but I'm just gonna put them up there because these go connected to the harness so I'm pretty sure I need them so I'm gonna finish that up right now another thing I did get done <laughs> Um, with my my subframe um, I cleaned it up just with the pressure washer but I didn't like scrape off off the goo and all that um, don't really care it goes underneath the car don't really get to see it plus it's gonna get dirty so yeah that's basically clean took off the bushings um, I was gonna put this up but the bushings they sent me were the wrong ones, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about that real quick. Alright, so the bushings they sent me were, so they basically sent me these SC MK4 rear diff bushings, but, um, oh actually, these are the right ones I think. Those are the right ones. These rear suffering ones. These um these fit the MK4 but when you put these on you have to run SC300 um, mount so when you run SC, SC300 mounts it eliminates the sway bar which is one thing I don't want to do. I want to actually have that option to run the sway bar. So I'm going to send these back and then get the all solid bolt-in mounts. So they're not bushings, they're the whole mount and you just bolt it up, which are like, um, I'd say $250 more. Sucks on my end, but I'd rather go all out than lose my sway bar option. And then these were supposed to be my front sub subframe bushings, but they send me front diff bushings. So out of luck with both of those. And here I do have my rear diff bushings. I just didn't put them on. And then these are my front ones. Front diff and rear ones. So, yeah, I haven't put those on because I still need um, diff fluid, but yeah, diff is ready to go up once those come in. 
So yeah, other than that, once I'm done with the wiring, I am going to go back inside, um, put the rear seat back in, um, fix the rear panels, um, try to fix most of the panels up, and then, yeah, I need to get a battery so I could test um, out the the lights on the cluster because I'm going to switch out to some LEDs and all that. I need to check the tail lights, license plate lights, um, just so I need a battery. I'm going to get a battery soon. And then, yeah, start cleaning up all the interior because everything is out right now. It's all over the place, so I'm going to try to clean it up a bit. And then I think that's it for now. I gotta wait for my rear bushings for the back. And then I gotta clean that up. Diff is ready to go, just needs fluid. Then I need to order, order my ASB delete kit. Um, so yeah, once I order my ASB delete kit, um, I could, um, well, once I get my ASB delete kit, once I get my rear knuckles back from Rad Industries and paint my brake calipers, then I could bleed the system, put wheels on, gotta get my wheels coming in. So everything, I'll try to keep up with some videos. Things is gonna go by fast. Next week, a lot of parts should be here. So yeah, you guys just gotta keep tuned. Thank you guys for that keep watching the videos, commenting, and all that, I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to this harness and then show you guys where it's supposed to go and this and that. All right, what's up? So I just got done tucking in all that wire. Everything's inside, um, just basically, and there's a fly in here. Basically, I just got a Put this back on, then put the plastic piece back on, cover all that wiring. Um, I need a battery so I could go through the the wire wiring under there because they put an alarm in the car and it's I don't even know if it works or not. But yeah, so I ran the wires through here through the hole. I'm probably gonna make it go under the brake booster and then it goes runs around. And then it should plug in right here. So hopefully my my guess guessing to where it's gonna be is right. Pretty sure it's gonna be right there though. Um, but yeah, that's it for the wiring. I think I think all my wiring is done except for this little plug right here. little plug right here is for the AC line. I lost the plug though so I gotta look for it or else I'm gonna have to buy another one. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna, gonna go inside, put some panels back on, and I think it should be good. I'm gonna put the back, back half in first and then go from there. Then probably vacuum the car. Oh yeah, I gotta plug in one plug on the other side and then that should be good. Uh, probably gonna rip a couple more wires from over there uh, that I see that are loose and whatnot. But yeah. Alright, keep tuned. Alright guys, so I just got done um, putting some of the rear interior in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on that. So, interior, back interior is in. Let me shine the light real quick, cause it's kind of dark. Um, so yeah, rear interior is in. That side's in. Um, I put the center back on. So yeah, it's looking good. It's kind of dark to work on the car right now. The sun's going down. I could put a light on, I might, but I'm gonna end the video here. 
Um, let's see what else am I going to do. I don't know what else I'm going to do right now. I might end up taking off the, the window tint. So, it's peeling right here. I'm going to take off these. These. I took off the rear one. I am going to retint it, but I'm going to tint it like complete black, black. And I'm going to tint these complete black. And then I'm going to leave these clear so I could be able to see when I'm drifting at night or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I'm just going to go through a little bit more wiring. If I end up doing something that you guys miss out, um, it will go up tomorrow. I'll try to post another video if I got more contact to put out there. But for now, that's it. Um, I did finish up. Let me show you guys this. And I was doing the wiring up front. So this is that, that harness that goes over here. And then I finished doing the brake. Got some grounds, and that's to the windshield wipers. Just that, and it's all good to go. Uh, oh yeah, I did buy some headlights, so headlights are on the way. Um, other than that, um, that's it for today's vlog. Um, thanks again if you got this far. Shout out to those who keep up with my build and keep watching. I know sometimes these videos are going to be boring, but yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's video or whenever I post, and keep up with the build. Can't wait to get this thing on the ground and get it started drifting, get some real drifting videos for you guys, but thanks again, like, share, subscribe, comment, ideas, or things you have that you see or have any questions about. So, yeah, leave them in the comments. I'll read them when I get a chance. And, yeah, stay tuned. Peace.